sometimes you just get in the mood for a certain type of gameplay. I guess I've been, that's where I am for Dark Souls, and, uh, you know, the same place that everybody else was two to six years ago. I'm real behind the times. This means, as I get older, I'm probably going to become, like, whatever mild, tiny appeal I have. It'll be, oh, look, the old man is trying our video games. Ha ha. How, how charming. Just speak of it, that's what. Aha, so I do have to spend souls. I've no need for your lap. All right, so I have to go farm a bit. Where would be a quick and easy place to get 2,000 souls? Here's that. You know, since I got the twin blade, I haven't tried it. I wonder if it meets my stats now. As worse stat scaling. But again, that's probably because it's not upgraded. Well, maybe when I'm in the mood to exper experiment, I suppose, but... I know how the Falcon works. An easy way to get a sufficient number of souls will be to go to a uh, new area of the game. And I'm remembering now, after 330,000 hours of gameplay, that there was a statue in the depths behind Heidi's tower that I was going to open with one of the fragrant branches. So that wasn't behind Heidi's tower. Hmm. It must have been behind the um, place where I met this lady after the Dragon Rider. This was the place, I believe. Somewhere in this uh, greater hallway, that is. Oh, no, it's not. Are you going to tell me to show my symbol of the king? You, rem you remind me of a very heavy butter knight. Hurting you is going to be very hard, I can tell. Not getting headshots, it's just hitting your shield. Oh, you're not that tough. That shield is all you got. Sublime Bone Dust. I've seen this, haven't I? No, I haven't seen that. That's an Estus upgrade, I see. Or I have seen that and I've just spent it each time I've used it. It bears saying again that when I go sometimes for a couple of weeks without putting out a video, I'm going to forget little details like what was the name of the item that was used in order to upgrade my Estus Flask? I'm pretty sure it was an Estus Shard, is what it was called. But Sublime Bone Dust? Yep. Maybe not. I don't know. I'd have to go back and review the video. Oh yeah, this was it. This was definitely it. I forget where this tunnel ultimately led me. Hi! Never in the mood for being cursed, even though I don't know what it does in this game. I could have looked it up on a wiki by now, for sure. In fact, you know what? Since I got cursed one or two videos ago, it would be kind of irresponsible of me not to look it up. So I'll do that right now. I see. So curse is very different in this game than it was in Dark Souls 1. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, have your health until cured. It just increases your hollowing by one stage, which would slightly reduce your health, just as if you had died. But you cure it by using a human effigy, which I've done once or twice since uh, getting stabbed through the gut by the pursuer. So, what made From decide that that was a better way to manage curse than uh, the way it was done in Dark Souls 1? I don't know. Unless you get cursed over and over again, it seems not to matter. Hello. You're dangerous looking? Yeah, I saw you I saw you from below before. How does I fought some big dudes before. 
but you're unique. Yeah, I'll probably have to fight 50, 100,000 of you, I can tell. Because you're not that hard to kill. Though you could off me if I'm not careful. Ah, oh, two Estus Flask upgrades. Man, the heavens are being kind to me today. Hmm. There's nothing doing there. Oh, oh, oh. That's probably all too very heavy for me, but um, I'll give it a look. It's better, although really heavy. I would absolutely lose my fast roll if I did that. Well, you know, once I get my uh, endurance and adaptability up extremely high, that could be worthwhile. That could be something to, to use if I can keep a fast roll. Yeah. I got the souls I needed, and I got some upgrades, so I suppose I should go back to Maju, la 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 la. Yep. Great. Five of them. Okay, good. And I should be able to upgrade again with you. Nicely done. Alright. I can pay this lady to move a roadblock for me. Like a passive, ag aggressive construction crew on the road. Get back on the freeway, but not in your car. I want very fast vehicles to hit you. This... I guess I ignored this option before because it confused me. Move path? How, how about a different verb, like unobstruct path or clear path? Oh, that's why. Because I lose access to one of them. Interesting. But it, it hardly matters. Because every time I want to go over there, I just warp. I'm sure it will be, lady. Now go be in crazy somewhere outside of my presence. Rogue water. Oh, sweet. I don't know that I'll ever use it, though. Because every time I use it, it's at risk of being a failed attempt for something, and therefore it would be wasted. I sense a new area coming on. Yes, I'm going to make a prediction as to what the list will be called. I'll say, um, usually dead's discount house of sporting goods and equipment. That's right, sporting goods and equipment are two different, uh, two different nouns in this case. Hi. I don't know who you are, but believe me, be. Seriously? The frailty of the weak disrupts the dark. Leave me alone. Hmm. I might. I just do one thing, dog. You haven't the gift. Hmm. Huntsman, Huntsman's Cops, Copes, how do you pronounce that? Wasn't a Cops like a name for, uh, like, like a Glen or... Looks like he's been sleeping here. Ugh. Well, I got the new area I wanted. It's far from a sporting goods store, but hey. You grow where you're planted. You don't look well. You're like the same character as my admiring fan who was holding the torch in the pirate's den. You are the easiest thing I've killed in this game. The dark. Yeah, so a friend, a friend let spill that there is actually some kind of canonical connection between the world of Lordran and the world of Durangalik. Oh, God, 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 God. Is that poison build up? So when you say the dark like that, I'm wondering if it has to do with the dark soul and the 
abyss of the prior game. Is there a thing up there I can kill? It's gotta be that moth. Yeah, I can kill it, thank god. Oh, an item dropped down. I hope I can make it down there sometime. Finally, a fire wielder who's going to attack me? I have so much torch time. I can play the rest of this game with my torch lit. No one would be able to say a thing against me. Just like Harrigan. That's me. I come upon the environs of a chapel. Um, hope I'm not, thank you. I'm hoping I'm, I'm not jinxing myself by saying this, but these guys are piss easy so far. Ow. Time for a sniper battle, I guess. Hmm, you've got poison tipped arrows that are faster than mine somehow. But do you have Estus? Doesn't look like it. Oh, it's so dark in here. Let in the sunlight. Be proud of who you are. Attend gay parades. Whoa, okay. Instant absurd aggression. Oh, okay. Well, oh, God. <laughs> I get suddenly, suddenly and nearly killed so frequently. Oh, this is all like a whole den of you weirdos. I can't take out all of you. Oh, yeah. You're like the thief in the prior game. You're fast and you hit hard, but you can't take a punch. Maybe I can take out all of you. Am I, am I overpowered for this part of the game? It sure feels like it. Yeah, that's probably a torch I can light. Is that a spawner? Like, is there a finite number of you guys that'll come up, or infinite? Hi. What are you doing, man? You're not in immediately targetable, so I'm betting you're not hostile either. Hmm. Must be opened by a switch. A Nintendo Switch. So go buy a $300 portable game console and throw it into that door as hard as you can like a frisbee. The architecture over there looks familiar, but I don't feel like I've been here. like a coliseum. So yeah, I definitely haven't been there. Hmm. Oh, down there is just where I've already been. This is where the dude jumped down from. Okay, I can take a little falling damage. Now will you attack me? Huh. I guess you just, I just didn't get far enough forward to trigger you before. I probably could have killed you, though. Ow! Fuck my nuts! It's easy to get blindsided when you don't know the level geometry. These people absolutely have the home field advantage. You should have been like my adoring fan and just followed me around with a torch. Then you wouldn't be dead on your face right now. Then again, given the kind of hellish, non-life existence you live in, it's... Probably, ow, kinder this way. Must reacclimate myself to the controls. This game only superficially feels like Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls Remastered. Anyway, bonfires are always appreciated. 
even when you happen to be a Dark Lord who puts them out. A wooded area. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, that's right. I, I caused you to reappear. Ah, ah. Yeah, a wooded area. I'm sure there's lots of bad guys just standing out there in between the trees. I think I can see one or two of them at least. Well, come on. As long as you don't have a friend who's going to start soul arrowing me from a mile away. Who are you? So, how... Oh, yeah, you're definitely hostile. Well, I'll take out your friendies down here first. The zombie forest. Haven't done something like this since Left 4 Dead. Or actually, no. There was a Shantae game that had a zombie forest in it. I think it was Pirate's Curse. Are you as tough as you look? Uh, maybe. Nah, not really. Going downtown, downtown on your cranium. Gonna split your head in two, then drink from it like a monkey skull. I, yep. I forget how my weapons work. Yeah. I've got to feel like I'm coming here later than the game expected me to. It's like I'm, I expect to get, be getting my ass kicked right now, and I'm just not. Yeah, I learned not to trust people who hang off of things. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, another one of the big dudes. Ah, uh, let's see. How is this for an arena? Not terrible. I need to see if I can lure the big dude out by himself. Come at me, bro. He's got longer reach than me. He's got scary sickle swords. Ugh. But I have one extremely scary sword. The sickles look like they might uh, work with dexterity in a game like this. Ah, yes. The forest... Blah, 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 blah. Ah. So I'm, I'm offline, so this has definitely got to be an NPC. That's one heck of a sword you got there, bro. Oh, time to die, I guess. Or not. Let me deal with this dude. don't know your moveset, so I'm, like, waiting for the right time to strike here. No doubt playing much more cautiously and conservative than I would really have to if I knew what the heck I was doing. I uh, keep moving just enough away that I can't hit you. I don't have to lose this! In the Souls engine, big and heavy means absolutely nothing to fast and lethal. That's why I play Dex Heroes. Gotcha! This NPC who was no doubt really abs absolutely trivially easy for everybody else to fight. That's okay. I'm just here to challenge myself with this game's single player content, nothing else. I'm glad you don't fly down and try to attack somehow. Oh, that's it? There must be all the other moth dropped, too. Nothing important. Just barely dodged that. Aromatic ooze. Ah. 
Oh, yeah, sticky white stuff. You don't look like the most pleasant bunch of people. I wonder if I have to drop down in the hut from above. Yeah, no getting in there, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. That's a pretty long drop, though. I'm pretty sure that cliff... Falling down from that cliff up there would kill me. So... Oh, here you <laughs> Good old UD making everything harder than it needs to be! A morning star. I forget if I've already encountered one of those in this game. Oh, yeah, I have. Or maybe I just encountered one in the last game, but it doesn't matter. Not good for my build. Make no mistake, just wandering around at random because I don't know this area. What are you doing? You must have some kind of a fun drop if you're going to run away like that. The running zombie. Oh, time to get poisoned, I guess. Oh, another hut? With a real Tower Knight dude in standing inside. Where did the running zombie go to? The moth distracted me and off the zombie ran into the wilderness. Never to be seen or heard from again. Uh, must be access from inside this cliff here. And, and this is another exit from it, no doubt. Alright, so dealing with that tower knight is not the thing to do right now. Or indeed, even possible. Where's your extremely fast brother? Hmm. This area is a lot bigger than it seems at first. Whoa. Are you trying to hit me with like a candelabra? What the hell is that thing? Oh, hey. Been a while since I've seen one of you jerks. And does not look like you have a necromancer nearby. That might be fine and all. Probably what I should really get is some repair powder. Hmm. Hmm? What what are you doing up there? Yeah, you're not the only one who can flip around fancy moves like he's in the Matrix. I see several more of them. Standard protocol when I'm playing a game that I don't know how to play is I bait them out and deal with them one by one, if they let me. And you've got a whip! And you've also got a dead! A usually dead, to be precise. Boom. Headshot. I'll wear out my bow a little bit. Get my Falky on a chance to rest. I don't know where the next bonfire will be. Hey, bro. I just killed like three or four of your coven mates. Yeah. Your moveset is bigger and slower than it would look. Oh, fuck nuts. Oh, God, okay. I was not being careful at all. I didn't know where the nearest insta-kill pit was. Bonfire pretty soon, I hope? Maybe not. Maybe I just can't count on it. I'll have to beat these enemies apart with my bare fists. Yeah, these look like telephone poles. Um, no, they're more like iron pillars, I guess.
The whip can't really stagger me, I guess. At least not with that little amount of damage. How many dozen more of these dudes are going to drop down on my head like some kind of a jackknob? There must be a boss fight in that Coliseum over there, and I hear a bonfire. Hmm. Was I not inside this building a little while ago? Because I definitely hear a bonfire over there. Oh no, it's below me. This is the one I was at a minute ago, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Don't want to drop down just yet. Then again, my weapons are starting to fall apart, and maybe I have no choice now. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright, whatever. It'd be kind of a shame not to spend this mass of souls of a crew, too. Be rather irresponsible if I risked losing it. Alrighty, we'll do the responsible thing. So where is this place? Huntsman's Cops. Undead Refuge and the Bridge Approach. Okay, that must be where I am now, the Bridge Approach. Oh, upgrades are getting pretty expensive, huh? There's no easy way back onto the bridge. Yeah, I guess I'll have to go around the long way. But what's the quickest way to do the long way without having to wear down on my weapons first? Although if you're going to ignore me, I'll just take advantage of that. I can farm the crap out of you guys later. But I definitely have to go through there and it's going to wear down my weapons a bit. I'm sure on the approach to the boss I'll be running through this corridor 339 million times so these guys will stop spawning and then I won't have to worry about weapon durability. But in the meantime, I'll spread out the damage a bit with my bow. When you don't know what you're doing in a game yet, there is some fun behind being a warrior archer. Just like killing the iron golem in Dark Souls 1. It's pretty fun. Although I came back later and did it properly with melee weapons, as God intended. Now. What nasty madness awaits beyond here? Look, I can see you hanging off. Don't insult my intelligence. I can see you, too. What What determines when you're going to come up or not? I don't get it. Like, I've walked right by and you guys are not coming. You're not climbing up. Undead Purgatory. Oh. A dark phantom tower knight dude, bro. Can't walk over there. I'll die. So I have to go in here, I guess. Hmm. So is this really a boss arena or what? Oh. We're going to fight, huh? Okay. How long is your aggro? Unlimited? Unlimited? like to get back on sure footing for both of us, really. I could beat Hovel with a sharp knife, so I'm, I can do this to you. But I don't know your moveset yet, so i got to be cautious. Oh, almost dead. Ow. That's right. Get caught in the level geometry so you can't fight me. Ah. You know, the whipping doesn't work if you don't hit me. Moron. A little bit of soul farming while I'm here would probably be in order. There's a good loop for it. Man, the action of the Falcon is so good that I just want to stick for it for that reason alone. It's got to be the king of easily attainable me uh, melee dex weapons. In a video game, I'm tromping through a dark, dank forest, which is probably somewhat cold, I would imagine. 
like not full on winter freezing, but maybe like an aggressive fall briskness in the autumn time. It's probably pretty chilly here is all I'm saying. Outside right now in the real world, it is incredibly bright and oppressively hot and humid and muggy and it's air, it's air conditioning weather for sure. You can jump down there like a champion. Falling damage must not be a problem for you. Wow, whips are horrible weapons, aren't they? He missed me at point blank range. So close! Ah, well, at least the souls will be easy to get again. Man, whips are horrible. <laughs> you died to a whip. Because this is dark irony. That dude sitting in the chair at the entry to this area talked about the dark. And it's not lost on me that these guys' weapons seem to be emanating it. I should come up with a name for these guys. Their weapons, you know, like uh, candelabras in the shape of axes and whips, they seem to come out of Indiana Jones movies. And yet I can't think of a cult other than the Temple of Doom, but I don't know what the name of that cult was. It was in the Indiana Jones movies, so... Well, until I know your real name, I may just call you Dark Rags. Because you wear rags and your weapons emanate darkness. Ah, so I killed the fast zombie and he didn't indeed drop something. What would that be, I wonder? That's it? The fast zombie just had a life gem to drop? This bridge must be lowerable on the other end. Why did you take so long to aggro? Exploration is a keen strategy. Does that lower the bridge? What did that do? Oh, it sounds like it's lowering the bridge. And releasing 90 billion of these thief dudes. Lucky that did not murder me to death, because it probably should have. Nothing else in here, really, huh? You're better off, don't worry. Stumps? Has somebody been chopping down trees? Do we have a genuine woodsman around here somewhere? That's disturbing. Talking about human effigies, ugh. Uh, what's going on in here? A shard is great and all, but wait, is that a curse meter? What? What was cursing me? That, that vase, apparently. Yeah, I gotta get up close, I guess. Was that it? Just the vase itself? What is the noise? There, oh, there must be a necromancer around here. I'm pretty sure I don't have any divine weaponry. I don't know if the rules are the same here, though. This, Yeah, this is probably not a place I should be yet. We'll go deal with the more, f well, fragile's not the right word, but the enemies I can't actually kill and have them stay dead. Like you, for instance. See? You'll stay dead until my next spawn. Ooh, 
You guys have a variety of weapon styles. You're like a whole coven. Yeah. You've got blade users, uh, mace users, and archers. All of whom die just about as easily as each other. This area is much bigger than it seems at first. Merciless Rowena. Hmm. Alright. That sounds like a pretty feminine name. Where are you, Merciless? Hi there. You have a scythe. And that doesn't even look like a great scythe. That looks like a life hunt scythe. Oh, you're pathetic and worthless, aren't you? I'm sure you'll one-shot me with that wicked thing if you can actually connect with it, but I don't have to let you. Wow, that was kind of effortless. As much as I enjoyed the great scythe in the prayer game, it did have its disadvantages in close range combat and its long wind up times. It was often worth it just because you could one shot things constantly. And I'm hoping that key opens the uh, bonfire I saw a minute ago. Probably be wise to go do that, wouldn't it, instead of continuing to explore? Yeah. Yeah, let's go back. If I do have to run back, it's no biggie. Aha! My intuition proved fruitful. Hi. Who are you? Who am I? I thought you were that bastard for a moment. Hmm? What bastard? You've set me free. Now I can find him. I sense a vendetta. Prick. Whoa! He won't know what hit him. That... <laughs> That's the closest to modern cursing I've ever heard in a Souls game. <laughs> that shaky prick. That's something that a modern British person might say. <laughs> oh, fun. Yeah. I don't want to explore a whole new wing of this area just yet. I'd really rather go see what's in that Colosseum once I can get through there without my weapons falling apart. Oh, so I don't get in through the cliff. I just drop in right here. Okay. Well, probably better not until the big boy's dead. Come on down. I don't want to trap you inside and have to fight both of you in there. I should have done that before I came in. Wow. You guys are really pissingly easy. You're not as big of a challenge as you'd look like you should be. I'm going to start doing this to every container that I open in real life. Punch it once first to make sure it's not a mimic who will bite my head off. Ah, yes, another Estus upgrade. Ah, I see. That was just the exit. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I'll store that away in my fair.nuff file. It's probably a reasonably good, reasonably good rule of thumb to say that if you have too few souls for a single stat point, then you probably have too few souls to care about at all. So, maybe it's alright to engage in a little bit of risky behavior. Undead Purgatory, where I shall take on the big dude again. The Red Phantom with the Heavy Sword. You can three-shot me. Ah! I can do this. If I can take out the center, I can deal with that guy, too. Attempt number four. Whoa. Interesting move.
Yeah, just stand there while I heal myself. That's a sound strategy. Ah, so close! One more hit, we'll get him. Yes! Ha ha! Oh! God, that was right on the edge. Okay, so he probably won't respawn, which means it would be really irresponsible of me not to go back and spend these souls before I do the platforming necessary to get that item. It's weird how you use that move. You don't swing the torch at me, you just gently hold it towards me like you're trying to set another torch on fire and I'm the torch. Alright, Falcon's in good shape. Now for an honest attempt at whatever's through here. Is this a boss arena? Is this a whole new area? I don't know. Although, I kind of want to get that item first. We oh, not, not good enough. A trampolining straight into oblivion. You're you know, there's, there's a, there's a clip brush there. You're not supposed to be able to jump over that, are you? You're supposed to open the gate. Aha. Uh -huh. So I did have some poison curation possible. Well, no. <laughs> curation. Curating poisons. Becoming a tastemaker of different poison strains. No, poison cure. Oh. Looks like that is finally all she wrote for this group of dark rags. Been through here enough times. Now, can I fall here strategically? Ah. Oh, nice. Token of Fidelity. Have I seen one of these yet? Proof of helping another world's master. Oh, that's a white phantom online play reward item, yeah? Nice jump. Wait, have I not been down here yet? I don't think I have been. And I still haven't gotten through that uh, white mist over at the other end of the bridge. Maybe that just takes me back upstairs again. This is higher up in that same cave where the moths were. Or is it lower down? God, that's a lot of poison powder. It's like there's a Venomoth up in here. Hmm. You'd have to fall down to get to whatever that item is, yeah? Or is that just a poison moss from the one I just killed? Well, alright. This is apparently a whole avenue of the game which I've yet to purposefully explore, so I'll cheat. Because I really want to get into that Coliseum. I've been spending forever to clear out the route. Alright, swear to God, I'm actually going in this time. Please, Dark Souls 2, tell me, what is behind door number one? It's probably a boss. There's that red bloody eye effect again. Ah, so I was right to think it was a Colosseum. Whoa! Okay, incredibly correct to think that then. That's pretty horrifying. Executioner's Chariot. You could just run me over. You don't stay dead, do you? Yeah, I need I need a divine weapon, don't I? If the same mechanic holds true as it does with Nito. Or the other, uh, in the earlier game. I wonder if this is a gimmick fight. Uh, fight. Well, there's some, like, item at the end of the arena. That'll allow me to hurt this guy. Because it looks like so far I'm just running down corridors. Not really hurting him. I could probably arrow him to death, but then the skulls or the skeletons would overwhelm me. Um, ow. Oh fuck, yep, yep, that was not enough of a cul-de-sac to hide in. Yep, this is this is impossible. I, I can't if I can't keep these skeletons dead, I can't do this.
Thank you for knocking down your own minions, dude. What are all these fading souls? I wonder if this is an item I don't remember. Goodness. Okay, so I just stopped him from coming all around again. That's great, but then his allies killed me. Does that switch stay pulled? Oh. <laughs> something happened to him after I died. Oh, please tell me I have something that'll keep those skeletons dead. So that thing would keep things dead, but... There's no way I could do enough damage with it. No reason not to take another attempt. I could nominally see the objective, and I think I can... Even though I can't keep the skeletons dead, since they keep getting mowed down by the chariot, too, I might have a chance to get to that switch. You know, it'd be just my luck if that item over there is a holy weapon. Uh, whatever. Attempt number two, I suppose. Yep. Just kite all the way through, just like that. Although there was a magic caster near the switch on the far end. I should probably kill her. Him. Glad you guys can't get your ship to get shit together. Must have, like, the most awful HR meetings. My boss keeps killing me with his chariot! Ow. Speaking of which. Shit. This is gonna hurt. It might even just outright kill me. Oh, not quite. Close, though. Ah. No, the chariot doesn't regularly keep them dead. Oh, I dodged that time somehow. Color me confused. All right, so I've got to kill this lady. Let him go around one more time. The bones should get knocked over. Ow, including me. God, why do I do that to myself? But now I'm instantly dead as soon as this animation is over. Okay, so something happened for sure. Ah. Okay, so now the boss fight begins proper, right? But I still can't keep the skeletons dead, and that's going to really hurt me. Oh, you kind of have the Gravelord Nito effect. Oh, wait, so I killed I killed the Chariotsmen, but now I'm going to fight the horse? <laughs> so the horse is the real boss? Oh, yep. Don't get behind the horse. They will kick you. And headbutt you. Wow, brutal. All right, I think I have a chance against this horse. Ooh, ow. Shadow breath. Try to stay on your side as much as possible. Be like Quilag. Ow! Can't get knocked into the pit. Yeah. So far, other than the fact... It, I mean, this is not exactly the same as Quilag, but it's similar. Just the way you move in general, not the way that your powers work, by any means. Wow, that hurts. Ah, fuck! I could do it. I know I can do it. Attempt number five. If I've got this down right, it's the writer of the chariot who is the necromancer that keeps the skeletons alive. Because once he dies, they seem to stay down. Or no, it's those ladies. They're the necromancers, aren't they?
Or, actually, I don't know what these humpback people are. Please, gah, okay, so I have to kill those, those things in the walls, otherwise the skeletons won't stay dead. Attempt number seven. Yes, that's it. These people hiding in the wall nooks, they're the necromancers. Kill them and the skeletons stay dead. There's only two of them, I think. Shoot. Well, time to die. Ow! Somehow dodge that. All right, now I should just have the horse to deal with. That's right. Lock yourself into an attack pattern. I will carefully manage my stamina and stamage my man manita. Catherine the Great. That's what they call me. Is that it? Yeah! Woo! Okay, so seven attempts. Um, pretty, pretty gimmicky boss fight, honestly. But seven attempts is like uh, a decent balance point between a interesting challenge and getting the shit kicked out of you until your knuckles are broken for the rest of time. Ah. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Getting over the pit was not a problem for that person, but getting caught by a grate, that was death incarnate. Burnt bonfire, please? Oh yes, bonfire right here. But who are you? What is it? Oh. It's not long ago. This place won't be any fun. Not here. Um don't speak too soon. I am kind of a maniac. All right, well, standard algorithm to end a video. Go back, spend the souls, etc., etc. I'm coming, Majula Lady. It can be traded for a crossbow or a lance that stacks, uh, that scales on strength. So that's a no. Nom. All righty. Upgrade Estus again. Badoosh. Uh, I believe that's good for a video. Got a lot of stuff done. Well, not really a lot. One boss kind of explored an area. But at least I have avenues to explore. I felt a little bit lost at the end of the last video. Partially my own fault for just flipping, not remembering where things are. That's okay. That's enough for now. We'll talk again later.